Here's a pre-production look at our 1,4-D lower wishbones. Now, there's the original wishbone, pressed steel item. Uh, very nice. The only time I've ever seen one broken is by getting a very sideways on hit on the wheel here, which can tend to make this just fold a bit or, or bend. However, we are getting very short of these. They're not available new anymore. And so therefore we are going to have Richard Bensley at Competition Fabrications make us a batch of new ones. Now the offsets are quite difficult actually. It's surprisingly complicated to fabricate this without with using modern products. However, this is what we've come up with. Here we go. Ovalized tubular main members, the Wii anti-roll bar bracket, a spring carrier and that is going to resist shearing here, which is the big problem of the standard one. Uh, we have to put on another laminar plate here to stop this area here from shearing. And we're gonna fit this to Amy's car as our trial. So we have Superflex polyurethane bushes fitted, you'll note, in this trial version in the same manner as the Amazon does, i.e. bushes going in from the outside. Um, ultimately, we'll have all the boss offsets here correct such that the bushes drive in from the rear. So that, that will be a different production difference. I've gone for the stock bump stop. We were using the uprated polyurethane bump stops on Amy's car, but I think, it is my opinion, that they're they're too hard and too rapid acting. I would rather have this softer one that reacts more steadily, comes on a, a little bit earlier, but then compresses more gradually. So we'll try Amy on that and see what she makes of it. And of course the stock lower ball joint, which is actually rather nicely recessed inside its holder here. So, that is the left and right and just as a matter of interest this is what we would sell as a rally spare so if you were going to Mongolia and were worried about the state of your wishbones this one will do either side and by doing this concept of the Amazon type we can have this fully loaded ready to load go into the car um, either side so there's that well next then I'll load it into Amy's car and I'll meet you up as we do that so there we are the new wishbones in situ they offered up nicely uh, one has to be careful but that applies for the standard wishbone anyway one has to be careful that the top coil engages properly on the ring in the top there and doesn't sit skew. The bottom coil just jumps in of its own accord um, and the suspension heights are all looking good. So there we are. In situ there, just to remind you, is the original. This is the one that came off Amy's car, already been welded up for the fatigued captive nuts and an extra sandwich plate welded in to prevent those from fatiguing out, those lower shock absorber mounts from fatiguing out. This unit with bushes, bump stop and lower ball joint weighs 4.2 kilograms, 4.2. This unit all rigged up weighs 3.75. So that's a 10% weight saving and a lot stronger because of its tubular creation rather than pressed steel. So we're gonna lighter, and of course, reducing unsprung weight means you are improving your suspension all the time. Minimizing unsprung weight is very much the aim of any suspension setup. 
So I've gone for the standard bump stop to replace this rather more aggressive polyurethane bump stop. I think to have a softer initial period is going to be good. The test of it will be to see after the first rally. If this is starting to break up, then we know um, it's A, too high. Uh, the primarily it's too high because this is 20 mil load suspension this really should be about 15 mil less so about there really but uh, let's see how that goes because i think that might be make it a nicer car so there we go i've now got to just go and see how much it costs and it's cost us a fortune to get this far to be honest <laughs> embarrassing amount of money but we'll see how much it will cost to create the production items. If you're worrying that I haven't got an anti-roll bar connected up yet, that is purely because we don't run them. Here in England, most of our roads, especially the ones we compete upon, are fairly rough. Most of our weather is wet and most of the venues in which we're trying to drive quickly are rough and wet. So you do not want an anti-roll bar. Um, anti-roll bar is for dry, smooth surface. The drier and smoother, the heavier anti-roll bar you can go for. The wetter and rougher, the less anti-roll bar you go for. And that's one of the reasons why we can go so quickly on rough sections where other cars are struggling to maintain steerage we've still got steerage because we've got fully independent front suspension that anti-roll bar the heavier the anti-roll bar the less independent front suspension you have necessarily um, so that's sorry a slight diversion there is there anything else you want to know about our New wishbones then. Um, so just to recap, these are 375 kilo, sorry, 3.75 kilos. They are oval tube going to the lower ball joint cup. They are drilled for the standard bottom bump stop. We have a heavier plate for the bottom shock absorber to prevent those shearing out, which they do when you're pushing hard. And in this instance, this is a motorsport spare that has anti-roll bar front and rear if you happen to run anti-roll bar. As I say, for rallying, we wouldn't. Well, I think that really is it. My task now is to put the road wheels back on and set up the suspension geometry. Uh, if you are excited or interested in these then please do give me a call because uh, we've got a couple of other pre-production samples that are the same quality as this one here and we can offer a price on those thank you very much